So to get the call to be a part of that legacy is really shocking and thrilling. And again, I think what I love about Timon and Pumbaa is that they're the comic relief. You know, the Lion King is, you know, it's a sad story in a way. It's definitely a moving story. It's not just this big splashy comedic animated musical the way we sometimes see. Uh, there's a lot of emotion in it, a lot of levels to it. And, you know, I, along with Seth, get to be sort of the comic presence, the most bold comic presence of the movie. And that's something that I enjoy doing, obviously. And so, uh, you know, Timon and Pumbaa are iconic characters. So it really is an honor to get to sort of do my spin on it, I guess. I think Timon is a bit of a showman. At least I'm playing him that way. You know, I think Timon likes to be the center of attention. He's this little guy. I'm pr a pretty big person in real life. But Timon is small, but he behaves like a big person. Um, and he has a big personality. There's a great sense of entitlement. Um, he's very quick to make himself the center of attention and then also let you know how exhausted he is by all of it. And I'm playing around with that a lot. And, you know, I relate to him... You know, his sarcasm, um, his energy, his, you know, he has a lot of personality. Seth is so genuinely charming. Um, and just, you know, his voice is so instantly recognizable. It's so unique and it's, there's so much charm there and so much likability um, and a real vulnerability that I think fits Pumbaa perfectly and I think you know we're a really good mix I think it's like a, a good yin and yang scenario with me and Seth well it's Hakuna Matata and people really love Hakuna Matata and Hakuna Matata as a phrase has stayed with us for the decade since the original Lion King that's part of the cultural lexicon so on the one hand you don't want to mess with it too much because people want to hear Hakuna Matata I mean Hakuna Matata was pretty solid already. At the same time, we're throwing in some jokes here and there. You know, we don't want to just copy what Nathan and Ernie Sabella did with the original Timon and Pumbaa. We want to put our spin on it. John's amazing. I really, you know, sometimes you work with people that you don't trust as much or you don't know whether you can trust them, especially with comedy because it's so subjective. You know, but with John, I just, I know his previous work. I know him as a person. I fully and completely trust his point of view. Uh, you know, so it's not, it's never really a fight. It, he's so collaborative. You know, he chose me to be in it. He, I didn't have to audition for it. He just, he knew my work and he wanted me in this. So I trust the fact that he trusts me. And likewise, it's very much a two-way street. I trust him too. And, and he's living with The Lion King, you know, day in and day out for years and preparing this movie. So no one knows it better than he does.